Hi friends, my name is Rinku and welcome to my channel Rinku Handcrafts. Today we are going to make a simple pinny with a little bit of pattern in it and it's for the toddler size. So I'll show you what we are going to make. So this is the cute little pinny that we are going to make. So it has this layered flower that I have attached to it and it has these horizontal bars that we are going to make so it will add just a nice touch to this beanie so let's see how to make this cute beanie so here I have uh, two yarns uh, one is of baby pink color and one is of white and these are for medium yarn so I will show you how to do the first round so here you have to take the open end of the yarn like this and then just circle the yarn around your three fingers and then just put your needle in in the circle and pull over the yarn like this and then just stitch one so you have this circle a little circle here so this is called the magic ring now I'll show you why it's called the magic ring in some time so for the first round we are going to do a 12 double crochet in this circle so for double crochet you will do yarn over pull through then yarn over from the first two loops and then yarn over from the other two this is the first double crochet that we have then so total we are going to do 12 double crochet in in the same circle so this is my second double crochet so pull through from the first two loops and then pull through from the second then again yarn over pull through yarn over from first two then yarn over from the second two Then again yarn over pull through then yarn over from the first two loops and yarn over from the second so we'll just tighten the circle a little bit yarn over pull through yarn over from first two loops yarn over from the other two so i have one two three four five and six double crochet with me And repeat the same till you complete your 12 double crochets so I'll show you how to join it join the circle so here 
we have this V from the first double crochet that we made so we'll just slip stitch through that so insert your hook pull the yarn and then pull through the loop so this is how we have completed our first round and then why it's called magic circle so here you have this end so you can just pull that end So just the pull this end so that you will have a tiny little hole here so ta -da! so that's why it's called the magic circle so now it's tightened so it's now it's tight so now we can start our next round that is round two so for round two we'll chain two so for round two i have chained two and in the same loop i'm going to do one more double crochet so this chain will be considered as a one double crochet and then in the same stitch we'll do one more double crochet so if you see in this in this first loop we have two double crochets so similarly we'll do two double crochet in each loop so at the end of the round we will have total 24 double crochets so i'll show you how to do it so uh you can yarn over then pull through then insert your hook through this loop so here you can see a little V here so you can insert your hook below that then pull the yarn then again pull the yarn from first two loops and pull the yarn from other two loops so I'll show you again so yarn over insert the hook in the same same loop then pull through so you have total three loops here so pull the yarn through first two loops and then pull the yarn from the other two loops so at the end of the round two so i will show you how to join the circle so here uh, we have our uh, first that uh, chain two that we did so this is chain one and this is chain two so what we are going to do at the top of this chain two we are going to do our slip stitch and then pull through the last stitch so here if you count so we have total we should have total 24 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so that's right so for round 3 we'll chain two again now in this first double crochet this v loop so we'll do two double crochets in the same one so one and then second double crochet in the same one So you have this chain here that is this is in other loop and the next loop from that chain so here we have done two double crochet stitches in the same loop now in the next one we'll do 
one double crochet so yarn over insert your needle then yarn over then pull through from first two and pull through from second two so this is one double crochet then in next one we'll do two double crochet so it will be like two one two one two one so at the end of the row, round three you should have 36 stitches so, so at the end of the round three so i've reached here so i still have one loop remaining so before that i have completed uh, two double crochet in the single loop and then after that one double crochet in the next one and now i will do two double crochet in the last one so i have these two double crochet in the last one and as i told you before this chain we are considering this as one double crochet stitch so to join the circle now what we'll do is so here we have chain two now what we'll do is we'll slip stitch through the top of the first double crochet so i'll show you that so this is the first double crochet that we did and now we'll slip stitch through this this first v on the top of that first double crochet that we have so insert your hook pull the yarn up and then pull through the loop so here you have completed round three and you should have 36 stitches at the round three so for round four we'll again chain two so and uh, before starting round four i want to show you something so If you can see for round one we had 12 stitches in that magic loop in round two we had 24 stitches now in round three we completed 36 stitches and in round four we should have 48 stitches so I'll show you how to do that so we have chain two now in the same circle we'll do one more double crochet so in in this same loop we'll have two double crochets so yarn over pull through yarn over first two loops and yarn over from second loop so so here we have our chain and one double crochet so it will be considered as two double crochet stitches so here we have two now in the next one we'll do single one double crochet and in the next one again we'll do one double crochet so here we'll do one double crochet and in the next one we'll do again just one double crochet so it's the sequence of you can say it's the sequence of two so here two double crochet and then two double crochet in the consecutive loops so again here we'll do two double crochet in the single loop so yarn over pull through pull through from first two and pull through from second two so here i have two double crochet in the same one then i'll do two double crochet in the next two loops one and second double crochet in the next one so so similarly you will complete the circle and i'll meet you back here so here we have completed our round four and we should have total 48 stitches so this is actually the crown of the hat so here we are working on the crown so we are doing top down approach for this beanie so now for the next round 
so this is the unique round for the toddler so we are going to increase uh, our stitches a little bit for round five I will show you how to do that so first chain two then what we are going to do is we are going to do one double crochet in the same stitch so these will be total two double crochet because we are considering chain as one double crochet here and then in the next 15 loops we are going to do one double crochet each so this this kind of stitches they are unique for toddler size because we want we don't don't want our beanie too big or too small so and 15 so we'll just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and our two double crochet in the same one so we are going to repeat this sequence two times till we come at the end of the circle now to join the circle again we'll slip stitch through the top of the double crochet so it will be total of 51 stitches at the end of the round 5 and now we will stop increasing our uh, stitch, stitch counts because I think uh, I am done uh, with the with my crown size of the hat so after this what I'll do is for the next round that is round 6 I'll still chain 2 but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the loops so no increasing at all so at the end of the round 6 you should have 51 stitches only so we'll start with this next one because in this one we already have this chain which will be considered as one double crochet so we'll start with the next one for round six and one double crochet in each each loop So like this one double crochet in each loop now I want to show you something so this this is almost like three inches the crown and now we want our beanie of size at least seven seven inches or seven and a half inches seven and a half would be better I guess so so we'll continue this one double crochet for the whole round and I'll meet you back at the end of the round and I'll show you how to do the transition from here onwards and now I will slip stitch through on the top of the uh, first double crochet that we did for this round now I'm going to again uh, repeat the same for next 
three rounds so i'll chain two now this is round seven and we are going to do one double crochet in each of the rounds so we'll not uh, do our first double crochet here we'll do in the next next one So at the end of the every round you should have 51 stitches so here I have completed my round 9 and for round 10 what I am going to do is I am going to do half double crochet in each of the loop so I will show you that so yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch so here we are not going to do uh, our chain 2 sequence so we are just directly uh, go doing half double crochet yarn over insert the hook then yarn over now you have three loops on the hook so you are going to pull the yarn through all three loops at once so this is half double crochet for you so we are going to do the same for all the loops So at the end of the round you should have 51 half double crochet stitches why I'm doing this is it gives uh, a nice little texture to your beanie so here this is the front side of the beanie so here you can see it gives this horizontal line so once you complete it uh, you will know and to join the circle I'll do slip stitch in the first half double crochet that I did and slip stitch so this is round 10 that we have completed now for round 11 we'll chain 2 and we are going to do double crochet in each of the loop but what we are going to do is so if you see this is this is the v shape you can see here and this is the back stitch so this so in this back stitch we are going to do our double crochet so this is the first one so here we have our chain 2 so that will be considered as one double crochet and in the next one we are going to do our first double crochet on the back side so like this yarn over pull through first two and then pull through uh, second two so here you have double crochet two double crochets Similarly, we'll do for the rest. So I'm end of the round 11 here. So I have here one stitch left. If you see, so this stitch will not be counted because it doesn't have the back loop here. So this is the last back loop that we have. So we are going to do double crochet in the same one. And as this is our one of the double crochet the chain that we did so here you can count your stitches so I have already counted it's 51 so I'm going to complete the round with slip stitching so here I have completed round 11 now for round 12 again we are going to repeat the half double crochet pattern so we are not going to uh, chain two so we are directly doing half double crochet in the same one so you have three loops and you will pull the yarn through all three loops at once so we'll do this for the whole round
so this is round 12 now before going forward i will show you something so this is the front side of the hat so if you see with the half double crochet this is how the pattern looks so this is the horizontal line that that was required for this pattern so with half double crochet you can get that so so we are going to repeat actually the same sequence of half double crochet and double crochet throughout the length of the hat hey i'm back so i'm at the end of the round 15 so this is the front side of the hat so here uh, you can see what i was talking about the the nice texture of horizontal bar here so if you can see so because of half double crochet we get this this nice pattern here so i'll just complete my round so here i have my uh, double crochet the last double crochet and now i will join this round uh, with single crochet because after this round i am going to do single crochet in in all of the circle so instead of joining with slip stitch i am directly joining it with single crochet so i'll show you how to do a single crochet so insert your hook in this this is the top of the double crochet that we did for this round 15 so this is that little v so insert your hook below that pull the yarn then you have two loops on the hook then pull the yarn through two loops so this is single crochet so we'll do this throughout the round i'll show you again um, insert the hook pull the yarn then pull the yarn through two loops again insert the hook pull the yarn pull the yarn through two loops just one information we are uh, keeping the transition in one line so here you can see we have this transition from the start of the line so we are keeping it at one side because this will go at the back of the hat basically so that's why will keep in one line uh, just one more thing while you are working on single crochet here so whenever you are doing single crochet just watch the tension of the yarn because it has tendency to tighten the work which you are doing so single crochet and slip slip stitch both are having tendency to tighten your work so just watch the tension in the yarn now here i am about to complete my second round of single crochet so we are at the transition here so i will complete my last single crochet and after this i am going to do slip stitch throughout the circle so to slip stitch i have to insert the hook pull the yarn and pull through the loop so while doing slip stitch just keep checking on the tension of the yarn now here i have finished my slip stitch round so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the yarn a little bit longer because you don't want it too short and we are gonna cut the yarn and then this was the yarn from the ball so you can just pull this yarn and tada here is your pin now you can just tie one knot here just to secure the end like this and so if you see this is the front of the front of the hat so I'll just measure the length of my hat once so 
so yeah it's seven inches so it's fine so it hey i'm back so here uh, i've completed uh, my beanie as i showed you and uh, this is the loose end that we have and here i have this yarn needle so you need to take the needle which will have a big eye i'll show you how to weave this one end into the hat into our beanie So like this take your yarn and needle and just try to weave it inside Give it a nice little tug. So you can go in any direction. I usually just uh, follow a little bit of zigzag and then horizontal one. So this loose end will not come out. We just want to secure it really nice. And now we are done with this now if you want you can give you can tie one knot here if you want or it's fine you can just cut your yarn from here so now it's nicely secure was the end and if you see here we have our transition of the round so what I have done is I'm keeping this transition at one side so it will come on the ear or the back side you can keep it on the back side as well here so your front side looks like this now here I have my layered flower so like I weave this loose end in the hat from inside I'm going to do the same for the flower and the same for another loose end that I have from the magic circle here you can see I have finished my beanie 
I have attached my flower here here you can see from the inside I used this baby pink color yarn to attach my flower to the beanie and I have also secured all my loose ends and now our toddler beanie is ready I hope you like my video so please click on the like button please write your comment any suggestion or any feedback in the comment section and please subscribe my channel see you soon in the next video